Do you ever get the tap on the shoulder at Cambridge? Anyone that goes to Cambridge, I always think, where, where, was there ever a chance you'd be a spy? Yeah, I had... I, was there I'd, a Philby-esque moment? I, I went off for, for, for a weekend once and I was told, you, you must say you are... You must say you're doing a, a recruiting weekend to become a prison governor, to, to be in the prison service. Are you joking? Is this true story? Uh, and so I did that weekend, which was really, really good fun, I have to say. Hang on a minute. What, there was a tap on the shoulder? Yeah. What? Well, it wasn't a tap it on always the shoulder. A tap, like, it, it was just more... go to Cambridge. Does everyone get a tap on the shoulder? No, I don't think so. I think what it was was, you know, like in the last year at uni, and you know, there's people apply for jobs, and I think you could apply for the Foreign Office, right? And you had to do these exams to apply for the Foreign Office uh, back in those days, and it was all maths and English. It was really sort of the sort, of, again, the sort of stuff that I, I didn't get taught on my school. There was grammar and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but it was done in such a way that you would have breaks every twenty minutes, and you could cheat. So I, 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 I scored pretty highly uh -huh. on the maths and, uh, and grammar uh, section of the thing. And, yeah, and then um, you get invited down to, to have a foreign office interview. And that's a regular one, right? That's just normal. That's just normal. Uh, and, you know, you chat away and this, that, the other. And then, you know, I sort of think, OK, now you'll get the, you didn't get the job or you did get the job. And they just said, oh, I wonder if there's, a, there's another opportunity you might be interested in. In uh, Havana. Uh, and that was yeah, exactly, and that that was that weekend, and it was really fun. It was interesting, and it was sort of in the, in kind of what I know now to be, sort of, I suppose kind of, that bit behind Mayfair where all the gentlemen's clubs are. Oh, marvelous! Yeah, it was all down there. But at the time, of course, I didn't know why. I just thought it was London. <laughs> I just thought, wow, everywhere in London is really <laughs> fancy. <laughs> These lovely yeah, white this buildings. Is, this is what I assumed London was, and it, it it is. You know, sort of lovely deep leather armchairs. Um, so I did that, yeah, but I didn't. Um, I, I I I did not uh, become a career. Uh, diplomat. Yeah. Do you think like, in any way back, would you have been good? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I'm too tall to be a spy. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> I think that's the thing. No, I. I my... Then again, because you're conspicuous, maybe that yeah. worked in your favour. You never know. I think He's, I did. I did. There's no of... way he could be a spy. Yeah, Look this how guy, tall he is. This guy, the tall guy's not a spy. <laughs> it's like Bond going around with in that car. Again, this guy's not a spy. He wouldn't be <laughs> yeah. driving that car, yeah, exactly. would he? He'd be. Uh, yeah. I. Th I think that uh, I, I really properly looked into it, and. Um, Honestly, growing up with no money and seeing that it wasn't as well paid as some of the other things you could do, I just thought, I'm not going to, why would I do that for oh, I get 20 years? I quite, you know, I love spy fiction. So I love the idea of it. The idea of it is, 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 um, you know, very, very attractive to me. Who's your, um, Who's your sweet spot, Fleming or uh, no John Le Carre? Yeah, really. So you know, to to be and all the course, if you read any John Le Carre, it's the worst world in the. You know, it's just awful, and you know, it saps your soul and it's incredibly corrosive. But at the same time, I think yeah, but you're a spy, yeah. so you know, there's uh, there are, there are upsides, and that's why in in Thursday Murder Club, one of the one of the characters is a spy because it's a, it's it's a world. I find fascinating, and all like Ben McIntyre's books, which if people haven't read, they're all sort of we had true here. stories. It's oh my god, he's amazing! Me. Like kind of the Cold War stuff, uh, and in that, there's always there would always just like some young woman in the back room who wasn't really involved, and I was just thinking, well, how you know, where would that woman be now? Yeah, and she'd be kind of eighty, living in a retirement village. So that's that's where Elizabeth from that came from. It read Sonia, he did as well. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, exactly. Which is which is much more female centred. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've always I've always loved the idea of being a spy, but um. At, at the time, it wasn't for me. It was, but it was interesting, and it was you did fun like war gaming and stuff like that. They'd bring you into a, you know, they'd interview you. You'd have four different people. It's like The Apprentice, um, but for spies. Uh, um, and yeah, they would they, they would interview you, and then yeah, you'd be put in a situation where where, where you were war gaming certain things. Uh, you know, they'd ask about you know killing for your country and all these types of malarkey. I loved it. You know, for me, I was like, "This is great fun." Yeah. What's what's the job? <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, I didn't. I, I did not pursue that path. Or did I? No, <laughs> no. I did not pursue it.